The thinking that mothers are responsible for determining the gender of a child was prevalent up until 20th century. And it is mostly because in those societies people wanted to have boys instead of girls, because they used to think that women are inferior to men, and having daughters would lower their status in society. This negative view was so common among people that until the 20th century, even some of the priest and Christian churches considered women as soulless creatures. And in pre-Islamic era amongst the Arabs, people used to persecute the mothers because of giving birth to a daughter and bury their daughters alive. And some of them kept the daughters with sadness and accepting the shame in society. But when Islam came, it cleaned the society from such superstitious beliefs and set justice with legal rights for women. But unfortunately, due to the lack of knowledge, even now there are people in some regions of the world which blame the mother of a newborn for determining the gender of the baby. But the truth is that science tells us something else. Science tells us that when the sperm and egg are unite, the genetic material of each are combined, providing the zygote all the information necessary for transforming the single cell into a complex network of cells known as the human body. Human cells contain 23 pairs of chromosomes, which is a total of 46 chromosomes. Each pair contains two chromosomes, one coming from each parent which means the children inherit half of their chromosomes from their mother and half from their father. So what are the chromosomes? Chromosomes are thread-like structures made of protein and a single molecule of DNA that serve to carry the genomic information from cell to cell. And they reside in the nucleus of the cell. From among those 23 pairs of chromosomes, one pair is called sex chromosomes. At conception, each embryo gets an X chromosome from its mother and either an X or a Y chromosome from its father. So either it takes an X chromosome from the mother and X from the father which results in female gender or it takes an X chromosome from the mother and a Y chromosome from the father which results in male gender. In either way, it's the father who determined the gender of the embryo and not the mother. This fact has been unraveled in 20th century through advances in the science of embryology. However, Quran has shed light on this fact 14 centuries ago where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <laughs> In the mentioning verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that it's a sperm which is responsible for the gender of the embryo. Or in other words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala determines the gender of the embryo through father. True father. Now think for a moment, is it possible for a man 14 centuries ago to talk about such an amazing fact which has been discovered recently? The answer is for sure no, and it points to the fact that these words can only be divine words which explains the details of creation.